In today's episode, we do a bit of work on our new storage system, which is really going to help us with inventory management. Okay, it might be a little clunky to start, but I swear it just it looks really cool. Just please bear with me. We're dealing with it. And uh, also, we're going to go mining in the vaults because I need gems to, to fix the storage system. Let's check it out. A new day falls on Spellcorp International, the first branch in our huge chain, and I've done a little bit of work here. I, I cleaned up the floors that the contractors messed up last time. Oh, don't, gotta close the door. I don't want to let any dust flow inside. I gotta keep it clean. So I, uh, I cleaned up the floors, and I started building up some walls here so that it's feeling a little bit more complete. We got kind of the main walls built up around us. Uh, obviously, it's nowhere near done yet. We're still in the construction stages. There's no roof on top. There's no second floor, no skylight like I want. But I figured this was just a little bit of something I could do between here. I, I also added uh, the first staircase up. I think I, I might tweak this design. I don't really know. I don't love it. Looks a little too plain, but we'll see. As I get more blocks and things, I'll be able to detail it a little better. And we'll figure something out. But most importantly, what I did between episodes here is I did work on the vault. I started building our item vault where we're going to store all of our things. And it's just at the bottom of this staircase here, so let's check it out. There it is. Look at that. Now this right here is single-handedly the strongest storage system that we're going to have at our uh, at all branches of Spellcorp International. These are state-of-the-art netherite safes, and they'll store all our items. Look at this. Look at how much room we have. There's enough room for everything we own. I'm just messing with you, of course. There's obviously not enough room here. And you're probably wondering, what? I thought you were going to build a vault. This isn't a vault, this is a safe. And Yeah, you're right. So let's look beyond the wall here and see what I have built. Bam. Now come down here. Follow me. We have the beginnings of our vault. Obviously, there's no door. Uh, we are waiting on the create mod for that. I would like to have a big functioning door that spins and then opens, but we'll get that eventually. Uh, but for now, for now we have this little area, this little lobby kind of nice sitting area. I don't know what I don't know what it's going to be used for, but then we can go inside, and this is the inside of the vault. We got big titanium walls, blast proof, bullet proof, flame proof, Enderman proof. It's just really really strong so yeah it's a great place now obviously there's nothing in here yet it's empty but we're gonna start to line the walls with some of these drawers the drawers so we're gonna line the walls with them and then we can put our items in it and i made these keys so these keys are cool because what they'll do is we can lock we can lock the inventory which means when I take out all the items in it, it still shows that item on there. It means I can't put anything else in that slot. So that's just going to be very handy, especially once we connect up the drawer controller and an external storage system. It'll just keep everything in the right place. The other key I made is a quantify key, which just shows us how much is in the drawer. So it shows there's 64 iron ingots. You can see I can pull out the full 64 and it leaves zero behind and it's still locked. So that's really nice. We'll unlock that for now. And then upgrading the drawers. If we take one of these guys here, we go into the crafting table, we can put the drawer and if we surround it with sticks, it makes a frame drawer. I don't know, can we? Okay, we can place them down. The frame drawer is the same as the regular drawers. It's gonna work the same. Maybe it doesn't unless until we until we do the thing to it. But we can take that frame drawer Put it in our crafting grid, and I think you put something adjacent to it. So like these pipe blocks, for example. And it gives us a drawer with a new texture. That's pretty cool. So we can customize them and make them look, make them fit within our vault a little bit more. So that'll be very nice to do. We'll break that off. And then you can also add trim to it. I think maybe you have to, you have to have a... So adjacent, you put the, the solid color, and then you can put a trim color to the right of that and above the drawer. So if I put in this calcite bricks, you'll see it has a white trim. I don't want to do that because I don't want that. But we'll put this gray concrete because I think it looks nice. And I made a few of these already, so they don't want to stack, though. I think they store some data. So if I get these out of the way, 
Look at this. We place some of these drawers. Much nicer, huh? Fits within the vault. Is gonna look really good, and then we can, we can, uh, we can. Let's say we lock all of them for a moment here and quantify all of them as well. I can just go ahead, and I can put different items in them. I can put my concrete. I can put that. I can put drawers, and so we're gonna fill up the vault with lots of these, with tons of these drawers, with all sorts of different items that we want to store, and it's just gonna be huge deep storage for us. And then, eventually, once we unlock probably refined storage. I think refined storage is the best computer style mod in this. We can hook it all up to refined storage and then access everything. So it's going to be really handy. I think I'm going to set up some more of these drawers right now. I'll take some time. I'll start to organize and sort a little bit and uh, I'll bring you back and show off some of what we have then. Well, that about does it. Every last chest in our little shack is gone. I've cleaned them all out. I've emptied the whole place. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't moved any of our crafting stations yet because I don't really know where to put them at the moment. But let's go check out the safe. Let's go check out the vault and uh, and see what I've managed to do with what we've got so far. Now, it's not done. It's a little bit messy at the moment. There's some. There's going to be some chests strewn around uh, a little, a little scarily. Um, but. We've uh, yeah, you can you can kind of see the mess already. These are these are the unsorted things so far. But come with me, and you'll see an awesome little place here. So I've got a bunch of drawers set up so far. We've got 64 different drawers here with just some different things. Now organization can change. It's it's a little messy at the moment, but we kind of got some of our ores and gems, the vanilla sort of ones. We've got some of the ores and gems and fancier things from the vault. Uh, we've got some of the chest items that you get in the vault and other chest items and some mob drops and then some blocks that way and just a lot of other stuff that's unsorted. And then we've got our cute little assembly here for all the gemstones that are used to make a pog. Now we're going to need lots of pogs in this mod pack so I just thought I'd have a cute little display for them so I kind of like that and uh, you'll notice we don't have all nine we're missing two and we'll get back uh, back to that a little bit later here because we're going to need a pog soon. Now right now the system's a little difficult to use we can pull items out easily enough I can run around I can grab whatever I want but the issue is when I want to put all this away I have to go back to each individual safe I have to hold right click a little bit and kind of dump everything in there and that's just, that's just slow to do so what I want to do is I want to get a drawer controller and what the drawer controller does is we're gonna be able to kind of place this as a block pretend my barrels my drawer controller I'd be able to place the block and if I have tons of different items on me I can right click the drawer controller and all the connected drawers, it will just dump those items into them and put them where they belong. So it'll be really easy to deposit things. So imagine we do a vault, our inventory is full of items. So what do we do? We run up to our drawer controller and we just right click and it dumps everything and they all go in the correct places and get stored. And then later we can hook up that drawer controller to refine storage like a computer system and then view all the items and pull and put things super, super easily. So that's kind of the goal. The catch is, as you might have seen already, to make this drawer controller, I need black chromatic steel and I need a pog. Black chromatic steel, we're getting close. We need four black chromatic steel and then for each one we need a perfect black opal, which means I need 16 black opals. Now I have 11, so I'm five away, quite close. The pog though, we're missing two. We're missing two of the ores. Let's see, we're missing, I believe... Upaline, Upaline, and Pizzanite. I'm missing those two. So I think what we have to do now is I think we just have to run a bunch of vaults until I get a pog. I just want to go, I want to look for ore rooms, I want to just mine tons of ore and get ourselves our first pog so that we can make this drawer controller and hook everything up. I'm going to get myself set up, I'm going to get a crystal ready, and then we'll just hop in some vaults. Let's see, four emeralds, three string, five stone, and six sugar cane. Luckily, I have all of that on me already. Convenient, huh? Let's check out our bounty. Submit one trident? No. Mine one tubium in the vault? Mm, I do need boots. I do need boots. I don't have any yet. And kill five zombies. Also gives boots. What do we want? 
you know what? People might call me stupid. They might think mining the tubium is a dumb one. I want to do it, though. I want... Yeah, I just want to do it. I want to mine the tubium. That one just sounds fun. Also, I was told that there is a hotkey for checking your bounty. And I set it up as the left square bracket. So if I hold that, it shows me my bounty and my progress with it. Awesome. I realized I forgot all about the quest. So I guess we can maybe run through a few of these quick before a vault. I'm just, I'm really eager to get into a vault. So I think we're going to rush through some of these pretty quick. Uh, first one is craft a chromatic iron pick. Reward is we get an ornate affinity jewel. Okay, let's do that. Okay, there we go. Just a temporary little setup for all those tables for now until we figure out a best place to put them forever. Uh, let's get on with the first quest here. It was craft a chromatic iron pick. So I'm going to need, what do I need? I need chromatic iron driftwood and bronze. Chromatic iron pick. Done. We complete that and we get a thing. Apply a jewel to a vault tool. 50 size, 14 size, ornate affinity. I think that's bugged. The, the quest book said it was 50 size, so we're going to guess it's 50. Anyways, this ornate affinity jewel means we can insta mine ornate chests. So I think we're actually just going to put this on our sickle with the coin affinity so that we can mine ornate as well as coins. Let's give it a try. Chromatic, ornate. And uh, capacity was 75 before and down to 25. So yeah, this is a 50 size jewel. So we'll put that on. Awesome. Quest complete. We get four chromatic steel. Next up, expertise. Reach vault level five. We auto complete that. I get a vault gold. Forging gear. Acquire a vault forge. We're just speed running these pretty quick. Which one's the vault forge? Uh, oh, maybe I don't have a vault forge. Okay, let's see what it takes to make one. Vault Forge, 5 Chromatic, Blast Furnace, Netherite, and Vault Forge, perfect. And I'm out of places for it now, so we're going to put it down here for now, in this messy spot. So what does the Vault Forge do? It lets us craft gear and weapons as well as powerful trinkets. Perfect. And then it gave me, I don't know, some stuff to put in here. So we'll put some stuff in there for now. And we got a vault gold, which is more bronze. Um, we know how magnets work. Forge a magnet in the vault forge, and we get nine vault alloy. What do we need to make a magnet in here? Magnet. I need 81 vault bronze, five diamonds, one netherite ingot. And we can craft a magnet. It's going to be level 10. What level is our magnet? Level zero. Okay. I hope we just, I hope we get a better magnet. Let's see? Roll beginner, and my magnet proficiency went up, which I think just means we craft better ones over time. Let's roll it and take a look. Okay, we got a scrappy magnet. 14,000 durability, 3.1 range, 3 velocity, 5% mana regen. Uh, not great. It's going to be... Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> but our magnet's almost worn out, so we may actually have to bring this into the vault with us. I don't really know how much durability I'll go through in a vault, especially if I'm doing ore rooms and mining the stone. We're going to burn through a lot, so maybe we'll uh, enchant this up and just bring it in with us in case our magnet breaks. But that completes another quest, and we get nine vault alloy. Now it wants me to acquire the artisan station, which I already have. Oh, no. There's so much. Okay, it's all going to fall out. Nice. Now I just have to find the station. Does it exist? There we go. <laughs> Artisan station acquired. Put my stuff back in it. Acquire an artisan station. Reroll a gear piece with a wild focus. Let's just find something random to reroll. We'll reroll this level zero axe. Reforge, and you get soul chance. Wow, nothing great. Who would have thought? Reroll gear piece complete. Acquire a vault recycler. And just for fun, I don't think I have to for the quest, but we are just going to recycle it. 
Next up, gaining more XP. Crafting and consuming burgers is a way to gain additional experience. Okay, so burgers give me the extra XP. So it wants me to craft a plain burger. And look at that, conveniently, in one place, my burger stuff. Craft a burger. Do I have to eat it? It gives me 10 burgers. Cool. Maybe I'll eat those in a moment, but continue questing. Vault objectives. As you level up, the vault will adapt and present you with new, more challenging objectives. Level 10 marks the... Oh, I'm at level 10. Level 10 marks the introduction of the elixir objective to random vaults. Level 20 marks the introduction of scavenger objective. Level 50 is hunt the guardians. So I get a seal of the sage objective elixir rush. Combining a vault crystal and a seal in an anvil will set the objective on the crystal to that of the seals, allowing you more control over the type of objective you are presented. Elixir vaults function by tasking the player with collecting and submitting an amount of elixir and awarding the player elixir for each action carried out within the vaults. The elixir amounts awarded for each action can change every vault. So you may want to note what action awards the most elixir, visible by the increase of size and quantity of the elixir orbs. Once you've filled your elixir bar, you need to find a lodestone to complete the vault. Apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal is my next one. I guess we will just do that with this vault crystal. Perfect. Complete, and I get blank seals and god altars. The quest is to complete a god altar, so this is... When I this is when I submit mana and different things at the the altars inside the vault. Oh, and you can gain favors from those. It applies buffs to your vaults, and once you've acquired a favor, the next vault you run will be modified. If you manage to complete that vault, then you gain a permanent favor from whichever god you were given it from. Okay, I guess we will eat the burgers and then go run this elixir vault. Not tons of XP from these, but just a little bit get us closer to that level eleven. Perfect. Okay. Let's get set up for the vault. I just made extra pickup upgrades, one for each of my pouches here, because I have learned something new that you can do with them. You can actually control what exactly goes in which pouch. So if you go in the pickup setting and then change it to match backpack contents, if I drop something on the ground here, it's not going to get picked up by any of my pouches right now because I don't have anything set up for them. But if I go into backpack settings and then slot memory settings, you can actually add things to the filter. So I believe, how do I do this? I go slot memory settings, unselect slots, and then I can say find, what if I find diamonds within JEI here, and then I can drag it and save it into the filter. Same with gold and emeralds maybe for this pouch just for demonstration so we'll put that there and then i can back out and you see there's kind of the ghost highlight so what happens then is you see the, the it almost saves the slot so that only that item goes in there so when i put these items in no matter what order they go in the right spot first thing's very cool now if i set up a filter on my other backpack maybe for iron and redstone So my first pouch, I have the diamond, gold, and emeralds. My second pouch, I have the iron and the redstone. And then my third pouch, I have not, let's say third pouch, we actually change it to just allow pickup. So now what will happen is if I throw all these items out of my inventory. Okay, first up, we have an issue. We set the first two backpacks, the ones with the filtered items to match backpack contents match backpack contents and then the third one we set it to block which means we can choose certain items to block uh, we won't do anything with that right now but let's say I just dump all this stuff out of my inventory right now none of it's in my inventory which means it got put into the pouches and where did it get put they all got put into the correct place and then this is like the overflow one what this means for us while vaulting is I could set up filters in my backpack Let's say I wanted a backpack that would just pick up the different ore from within the vault. So what I can do then is I can just go within here. I can say maybe, oh, what? Oh, I have to, let's say I want a, a pouch that's just to hold all the ore from the vault. So I can go like this, I can go along, I can select the different ores. And then when I mine them in the vault, it'll put them right into this backpack. So really, really cool.
Now also, if I just put the items I want to filter into the pouch and then go into backpack settings and click on under memory, I click on select all slots, it grays them out. Now when I back out, it shows the items and it's put, it's put those filters there. So very, very handy. It's probably worth me setting up, looking at what the different vault loot we get is and then setting up pouches for that so that when I'm mining and destroying chests and coin piles and everything like that, they're all going directly into these pouches. So really cool. With all that backpack fun stuff figured out, we're ready to run our first elixir vault. And uh, you'll notice that the, the portal, the portal stays purple because we're running an elixir vault. So we're gonna have to go in and basically just do what you regularly do in the vault and, and hopefully we'll find lots of mining rooms along the way and hopefully I don't die. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, an interesting theme. And then you'll see at the top there, we have this elixir bar. Now that elixir bar is going to fill up as I loot chests and kill enemies and whatever else inside the vault. Ooh, little eggs. Oh, and just like that goes into one of my pouches. Oh, interesting. Everything's going into this pouch first. Okay, cool. And I accidentally have stuff left with me from the overworld. Okay. <laughs> It is a west-facing vault. Let's put the blocks on the hotbar. West-facing vault, so we need to head east to leave. Let's mark this down and into our first room. Oh, they're gummy bear men. Oh, that's cute, and they make a little squishy sound, and they're given pretty big orbs. If I just dump these, these should go right into my backpack. Perfect, and then I have them set to match backpack content, so if I throw them out, they should just go in there as well. I'm getting a lot of, okay, hold up. I gotta dump some of this junk. Okay. So now it all just goes right in there. And why, my soul shards should be going into my soul pouch, shouldn't they? Oh, I, I figured it out there. I had the, the third backpack still set up for the overflow kind of thing. So what we'll do instead for now is we'll just set them all to match backpack contents. That way if I, throw something out it'll go in the same pouch that the stuff is in wasted a lot of time in here trying to figure that out by accident whoops so you see any of the kind of overflow items are going into my inventory here so i can just throw them in the pouch for now this right here is a lodestone now that lodestone we do need these to escape the vault so once i finally complete it i have to find one of these to escape and they spawn throughout the rooms that's fine there's some ore for us. Now I'm looking for tubium, which, like I said before, might have been a crazy thing to pick, but we're looking for ores anyways, so. Now I do see some ornate chests, and I'm excited to test out. Uh -oh. I'm excited to be able to test out the ornate chest mining, so let's give that a try here. So I take my sickle. Oh, look at that. And it just, oh, something burned. Insta mines the chest. All the items come out of it. That's amazing. And you know what? For the ornate stuff, we'll put it in this one. Because maybe it's a good idea to have a pouch set up for wooden chest and a pouch set up for the other chests. And keep them separate that way. A killer bunny. Oh, not for long. Oh, these gummy bear guys make slime noises. Looting is so much smoother with these backpacks set up now. With the, the pickup upgrades, that's really, really nice. Oh, look at that. There's ornate chests scattered around here. I didn't even realize. So we have bonus ornate on our vault as well. Cool. First room and we're halfway through the, um, the elixir objective. Ornate chest. Yeah, that's so that's so satisfying mining them. Wow. Where's this one?
I'm actually I'm letting myself get too distracted. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna start skipping some rooms, I think, because I'm looking for mining rooms. And then in fact, actually, let's make this pouch the living chest pouch, and then our ore will just show up in our inventory. Cool. Well, I didn't even notice it while I was fighting the enemies, but we did just get our completion, so we know we can load stone out at any point, but I'm gonna go looking for ores because I need to get a pog. Aha, an ore room. Awesome. That's a tubby of ore. That's our bounty completed. Perfect. And they said I couldn't do it. All oh, those haters. But still looking for the pog stuff. Something just broke. It was my magnet. I'm glad I brought the second one. We got an axe marks room. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this with two minutes left. That's kind of scary. Do we do it? I don't have any inventory space right now. Let's just dump this all in here. I think... Unless there's a mining room next door, then I think we're going to do the X mark room. Yeah, we're like one away from the um, the mining, from the, from the entrance, so we're going to do it. It's bad. It's bad! Oh god. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Um, <laughs> I think we wait for Dash. I think we wait for Dash to be off cooldown, and then we jump. And let's just get out of this vault. It ain't for me anymore. Let's go home. There, we need to find a lodestone, and luckily, this is the lodestone room. So we're just going to click on the lodestone and we get our vault completed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Three black opal. We've got alexandrite, painite. 12,000 XP. Awesome. 75 chests, 100 mobs. Oh, we're level 11. Perfect. And let's head home to Dilute. And I mean, look at this. After the vault, look how clean our inventory still is. Only some overflow scaffolding, but in our little pouches here, that's like all the wooden stuff we got, some of the other stuff, and other stuff. So let's go through it all here. No new relic. So check this out, right? We can have our whole pouch here full of all the items we got from the wooden chest and I can go backpack settings, slot memory, and I say select all slots, it grays them out and now when I empty this, everything goes into its rightful place. Isn't that cool? And bounty complete, so we'll take that. We got another skill point, so I'm actually just gonna put it into strength and get strength two because that just makes us stronger. Let's open all of our craze bounty crate and it looks great, nice. Oh, and I already started rolling the boots by accident. Well, oh, we got an echo gem from the mystery box. Wow, that's cool. Those are quite rare. I think that can go in our pog board. Put the echo there. Yeah, let's put the echo right there. Cool. And we got another relic fragment. We got a bitter lemon from our elixir crate. That's cool. That's like the kiwis, so it adds time, but it's just much better than the kiwi more 30 second timer wow a pulverizing jewel ornate affinity and a mining speed jewel these are the shoes we got they are better than what we're wearing they're not very good but we'll roll the next ones and see i guess okay let's see here let's compare three armor three health five armor increased qu item quantity knockback resist and damage yeah, that's just better. And, ooh, it's got an empty prefix, so we can add something else to it. Yeah, sorry, those ones are going in the trash. And the vault sword, I don't really like it as much. So, also going in the trash, but we unlocked a new transmog, this cool little gladius sword. So it's like a little short stabby sword. Neat. 
let's add a prefix to this. So if I take my wild focuses and make combine nine of them, I get an amplifying focus, which I can then use to add a new modifier. So we'll put it in. We have that empty prefix slot. Let's add a new random modifier, and we get 15 mana. That's not bad. We'll take it. Is it better than mine? It's, I would say, about the same. Not great. And how about this one? Yeah, same thing. I don't know. It's going to take a real special shield to wow me. Black Opal and Tubium are kind of our most important ones to us here. Let's find that fortune pick. We got two Tubium and Black Opal. We need five. We only got three with fortune three. So we didn't roll any extra. Wow. So we're two away from what we need. Okay. Tubium, we got a good little amount there. Five. Lots of stuff. I didn't find a god altar in that vault, and I didn't find the stuff to make our pog, and I didn't get enough black opal, so on to the next vault. I just made two stack upgrades, which multiplies the number of stacks that can fit in a slot by two, and I can put those in my backpack, so now each slot in here will hold two stacks. Just a bit more space, which is perfect, and I guess I will throw it in the other one. I have this 15 size living affinity jewel and I could save it for later when we get better tools and things but I'm just gonna add it now so that I can start mining living chests with this as well and that makes us a pretty good tool rotten flesh copper and snowballs which I have none of off I go and snowballs and more snowballs Okay, vault number two of the day. Let's remind ourselves of our bounty here. Kill five vault fighters and we'll get a sword. So, hoping that's good. Let's just run it. And we got, I have the filters all set up for the wooden pouch. We have the stack upgrade in here, so that's really nice. Let's see, it is an elixir vault again and it is east facing, so west to leave. Oh, look at that, I'm so strong. More black opal, perfect. I do need that. Ooh, that's another unique ore, I think that's Ashium. I already have, but I will always take more because we'll need more pogs. Oh, perfect, pizza night. That's, the, that's one of the ones we needed, awesome. Okay, so just upaline, upaline, the, the one pink one. Awesome, and in our mine room here, there is a lodestone, so we can consume that to get out of here. Later. Okay, just so I know that the lodestone's in this room, I'm gonna build a big arrow upwards. And we are gonna keep heading east for now because I got 13 minutes and I need to find more ore still. Gilded chest scroll, that lets me craft my own gilded chest in the overworld, that's cool. Five minutes to go and I still haven't found more ore POIs or a god altar, so it might be looking like we'll have to do a third vault today. Oh man, I just found a blacksmith room, which we're gonna have to loot because I have this fancy tool. And there's ornate chests everywhere, so we're gonna do this. And that might take up the last five minutes, but that's okay, because hopefully I get a lot of gear. I have a minute 30 left, and I have no Kiwis, so I think I can maybe loot one more room and then I have to book it. I don't know. I can't afford to get... I don't really want to get greedy. I got so much XP in this one, so... Time to get out of here. We're going. A minute left should be enough time. I know there's a lodestone, just one or two rooms over. Nothing here. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> it 
think we're going to get lots of XP. I opened quite a few chests. I mined a bunch of ore. So let's see here. And, and we got the completion. 13,000 XP. Awesome. 89 chests. 91 mobs. 42 ores mined. Very cool. And I believe we got a bounty complete as well. To open the crates, we got our bounty crate and a elixir crate. So we got some swords, coins, things like that. I got lots of stuff to roll. So we got that gilded chest scroll. Let's check this little guy out. Take some driftwood and we get a gilded chest. Very cute, slightly larger than a regular chest, but that's all it is, a chest. We'll put it here for now. <laughs> Okay, for gems, we got pulverizing, pulverizing, another hammer gem, which is cool, vanilla immortality, ornate immortality, and 11 size wooden affinity. That almost fits on our sickle, which would have been nice, and another living affinity tool. So, in the bin they go for now. The three boxes, and we got another echo, amazing, and relics, nothing. We have two echoes now, that's pretty good. Okay, look at all this gear we got from the vault that we can roll. That's so much. I don't want to do this by hand, so there's something for us to make. There's an identification table, and that will let us bulk identify all our items, so it'll kind of just roll them all at once. So let's make this. Identification stand, and same thing. Don't really know where to put it, so we'll put it here for now. We'll find a place like... I don't like that. And then it shows all the different items I have. And if I right click it, I identify everything. So let's go through this. Um, is it better than my shield? Maybe. The slowness cloud when hit could be pretty good, but don't really care. Uh, how about chest plate? Better armor, item rarity, health, extra armor, much better. We're keeping that. Not as good. Mm, not as good. I'm going to say not as good because I like the extra health and the item quantity. What about this one? This one might be, this one might have chance. Not low implicit roll. Also bad, unfortunately. Swords, better than my axe. Um, I don't like it. No, all garbage. The only thing we're keeping is this chest plate. Oh wow, we just got a item rarity faceted focus from one of these things, which means I can guarantee item rarity added onto something later. That's really cool. I already have one, I have a poison cloud one, but item rarity is really nice. Maybe that's what we'll put in the chest. We'll put this extra one because I can't store it in here. All that's left is our ore, Maybe my fortune pick, Ashium, Budadai, Laramar. Some more black opal. Hopefully we get what we need there and we'll save that pizza night for last to see, but mine this all up. What did we get? We got one ashium and seven black opal. Perfect. So we have the black opal we need now to make that drawer controller, but we're still waiting on the pog items. Hopefully we get a high roll from this pizza night here. Let's see. We got six. Wow. Okay. That was good. That was good. Lots of that. And I do have enough here to make my third stack upgrade. Awesome. We can put that in our other pouch. And now we have tons of space. Perfect. And what do we want to do with this next skill point of ours? We could put a new point into something along here. Or, since I'm a little bit power hungry, we upgrade strength and get strength three. Yeah, I'm just really strong now. Well, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's about all I'm going to have time for today. But don't be sad. No need to cry. Because we got a lot done today. We're one step closer to our pog. We're one step closer to our drawer controller. And uh, we got a lot done in here. We got this uh, whole vault area set up for us today. Look at that. Tons of storage space. Nothing to cry about. Please don't cry to me. And if you do cry to me, cry to me in the comments. Let me know why you're crying. I want to know. Maybe I can cheer you up. Maybe I can just be a shoulder for you to cry on. Anyways, let me know what mod you think I should unlock. I still have another skill point. And no one told me what I what I should get. At this rate, I'm just going to keep saving for create or refined storage. So let me know. Anyways, love you. Bye.